Emma Kenny. You've seen her grow up on Shameless. This outspoken New Jersey native came to LA to be a star. Emma Kenny led herself into my food truck. Do you want to cook some vegetarian food? Find out today. Find out today on Famous Food Truck. right now to pick up Emma Kenny, and I'm excited because it's the first vegetarian we've had on the famous food truck. The way I look at food is not the ingredients that are not in it, but the ingredients that are in it. So if Emma Kenny wants to bring that vegetarian vibe to the food truck, I'm all for it, baby. Let's do it. Emma Kenny led herself into my food truck? I did. This is my food truck now. Okay. You want to cook some vegetarian food? I would love to. I've got the perfect recipe. That is good energy. I'm so <laughs> hyped up right now. Yeah! Woo! Welcome to the famous food truck, by the way. Thanks. Well, you already let yourself in, and you're going in on the cauliflower. Yep. Today, we are going to make Emma's uncanny quesadilla. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. So we're going to use cauliflower, and we're going to put it in buffalo sauce, and it's going to taste amazing. So we're just going to chop up this cauliflower into tiny pieces right here. Buffalo sauce is good on everything. Hell yeah, it I'm is. a big buffalo sauce fan. As well as I. Does buffalo sauce have anything to do with buffalo, the location? Yeah. It is? Buffalo sauce is named after Buffalo, New York. It is? It is. How did you get to not eating meat? Like, how long has it been like a meatless diet for you? I've been vegetarian for kind of on and off for the past 10 years, but I've been taking it a lot more seriously recently. I'm very passionate about animal rights and animal activism, so I just think it's the right thing to do. We're going to add some chili pepper in right here. I like everything you're doing right now. Mm, so yummy. So now we're gonna take this cauliflower bowl with chili powder and garlic, and we're gonna put it in buffalo sauce. So now we are going to cut some chives Just into the top of the bowl. Just little tiny pieces like that? Very tiny. You don't want too much, and you kind of want to sprinkle Look it these around. these little guys in here. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. That's our buffalo cauliflower? Yes, it will be a lot more appetizing once it's done, I swear. You squirting that oil there, girl? Yep. Oh, yeah. And this is very hot, forewarning, just in case you didn't know. I am I wouldn't put my hands on there if I were you. I am an idiot, and I would do something <laughs> idiotic like that. Don't put it past me. How'd you get to Los Angeles? When I was 10 years old, I booked Shameless, my first show. And my dad actually quit his job at the New York Post to fly out to LA with me so I could do the show. And it's kind of been an insane experience since then. I've been living back and forth between the East Coast and LA filming for the past 10 years, and now I'm full-time here. And my parents are really great and very supportive. So you started at 10 years old? I started when I was four originally. I was doing acting classes in New York, and my parents just kind of signed me up for acting, dance, ballet, like anything that they thought I could be interested in. Literally, the only thing I stuck with was acting. It's so crazy, because I would like watch Shameless. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know this girl, but like I watched you grow up it's in so a way. Weird. Like, isn't that crazy? It like, really is. I think my mother gets very like, like defensive over it, because people will come up to me and they're like, I feel like I'm like your mother. Like, I feel like I saw you grow up. My mom's like, Bitch, I'm your mom. Like, <laughs> literally. All right, well, it's starting to smell good. I'm not even gonna lie, the mm. buffalo's like stinging my nose. It literally eyes a smells bit. so good. It's a spicy one, but it's good. Not too spicy if you don't like spice. All right, well, we mentally prepare to take down this delicious buffalo cauliflower treat. Pop quiz, hot shot. Mm -hmm. Quiz? Yeah. I'm not in high school. It's a quesadilla quiz. Question one. Which cheese is a quesadilla traditionally made with? A, Oaxaca. I'm so sorry, people, if I pronounced that wrong. My bad, OK? I'm from Canada. There's a whole country in between Canada and Mexico. B, Cotija. Sorry. Or C, queso fresco. You know I got that one, though, guys. I got that one. I'm going to go with A. Uh, you're really smart. I know my quesadillas. What can I say? OK, well, well let's see how it goes, Hot Shot, because I have another question to prepare for you. Mm. According to Major League Eating, what is the most amount of quesadillas eaten in five minutes? A, 13 quesadillas. B, 
31 quesadillas or C, 46 quesadillas? All right, guys, welcome back. We got this vegetarian buffalo cauliflower quesadilla, and it's exciting because I get to eat something and no souls had to be donated to the cause. What is the most amount of quesadillas eaten in five minutes? B, 31? Yeah. Really? A girl set the record. Wow. Yeah, she's from Virginia, Sonia Thomas. That's crazy. I she was 105 pounds. She's my idol. OK, true or false? In El Salvador, the quesadilla is a sweet pound cake made with Parmesan cheese. True. Of course it's true. Like, you yeah. think I'd be able to fabricate a sentence like that? That's it's, like, true. too accurate. All right, let's jump into this quesadilla. Let's For do Real it. life quesadilla, no mm. quiz quesadillas. So we're going to start off with the tortilla right here. And we are just going to evenly spread some cream oh, cheese. I could, I could follow along here? Follow along. You can on right there if you want. So you're just going to evenly spread it out throughout the quesadilla. The more, the merrier. So next in making this fine quesadilla is sprinkling the buffalo cauliflower on half of the quesadilla tortilla. Now it's the best part. Yay. Oh, sprinkle so much. Literally, I'm probably going to have so much more in mind than yours because I love cheese. I'm so sorry. That's OK. And then you fold it like this, like so. Perfect. Here's your spatula, sir. Yes, thank you. Just be very careful that nothing falls out. And plop it on the grill. Look at us. There we go. Just a couple gals cooking up some meatless quesadillas. Yep, there we go. Let's see if I can do this. Flip's Definitely. gonna be the trick here, eh? Boom. Whoa! I'm a master. I told you this is my secret recipe. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is smelling so good. It smells good. I'm making your quesadilla. It's like I'm you're making it. my quesadilla now. Mm, it's getting grilled. You want to grill it to perfection. OK, this is the best part. We yeah. need to take all of our aggression out and smash the f out of these talkies. Oh, sick. We don't get those in Canada. Really? No, we don't have them. Mm. And then we're going to cut the quesadilla into threes. It right. seriously smells so good. It does. We're going to add some okay. crushed up avocado, AKA guac. So now this is the fun part. I'm we so curious what you're going to do with these talkies. I know. We have all these crushed up talkies. So you just kind of sprinkle them lightly on top with the guac. Wow, look at our baby. So These good. are our quesadilla babies. Are we going to try these? Yeah, we are going to try these. Try yours. I'm literally so I love how you just keep telling me what to do. It's really excellent. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. That's my favorite. Woo! Mmm. I'm actually really proud. So you think we can give this out to people? Yes. So this was like the prototype, so now we're going to make 50 of these bad boys. Awesome. You ready to do this? Yes. High 50 five. 50 of them? We're making 50. Let's go, baby. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. Excuse me. Yeah. Look at this quesadilla. See that? You see a quesadilla like that? You have You don't know shit. <laughs> All right, boys, come and get some. Who's hungry? They're girls, too, but I just always say boys. Thank you. So. It's good. You're going to love this. Oh, amazing. Take two. Take one for your mama. I'm going to have this one, one, I think. Look at our children enjoying our quesadillas. Oh, yes. Are they so good? Mom, what do you think of the quesadilla? Spicy, but it's good. And what does our daughter think of the quesadilla? It's really good. Oh, yummy. That's her recipe. What can I say? It's a secret. Just kidding, it's not a secret. It's not a secret. You guys can see it on Genius Kitchen. So it's a secret until then. Boom. There. So I gathered a whole bunch of questions from the internet. Great. And I was like, yeah, guys, what kind of questions do you have for Emma? So I got them. I didn't, I did not vet them. So I didn't see or check to make okay. sure that they were cool or like weird or stuff. OK, well, go for it. I've been asked some pretty weird questions before. Question one. A lot of people who start as child actors 
don't make it to being successful adult actors what makes you different. Hey, you crossed 18, so automatically you passed the barrier. I'm automatically And you're still getting roles, so like you did it. You I mean, made it. I'll, actually, it's something I, I, I think about quite often because I was a baby when I started. I was 10 years old, and you know, I want to continue acting and, and make it a lifelong career. So I just think that there's a a groundedness. I don't think that's a word, but a ground. I, you know, but I know what you mean. You definitely have that, the groundedness, mm. because, uh, like, you know, people come by here and they're excited to see you. You're like hugging them and touching them and stuff. Oh yeah, I and love I'm to like, meet people who are supportive. Because I mean, like, I didn't know you at all. So like, when mm. you know, you're coming, it's like, oh, I'm excited to meet her. But then yeah. again, like, you know, you never what know. If she sucks. Yeah, what if in she's real like, life? crazy? Yeah, and she's then crazy. like in four seconds, I was like, oh, she doesn't suck. Yeah, I can tell. I can yes, tell. I'm nice. <laughs> yeah, guys, she doesn't suck. Just saying, it's all real, <laughs> real deal. You're out here in LA now, but you want to go to college in New York to study writing and directing. What's driving that? Whose films and shows make you want to pursue this? Ooh, I That's love that question. That's interesting. I like love that it. too. I'm. All of that is true. I want to go to school in New York. I want to go to Tisch. I want to go to you know NYU Tisch and study directing and writing. Gus Van Sant has been a huge in inspiration to me. I love his films. I love art films. I love films shot on on film. I want to learn more about that. I want to learn more about cinematography and directing and writing and. Just more behind the scenes, like, you know, being on set all the time, you get to observe and you get to watch. And I've had that education in itself, so I do know some about it, you know, but I want to get a full on education, that's, take a break from acting for a little bit. And that's do that. excellent. I feel like that's so good. I used to direct, this sounds weird, when I was 10, I directed a little short film. They made it into like the New Jersey International no Film way. Festival when I was 10, and I, I shot it and wrote it and directed it, casted my friends. We had like auditions in my backyard back home, and like, I was like, no, you're not right for the role of Julia. No, <laughs> do it again. Show more emotion. <laughs> I would like make them cry. Not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but really. Next you question. came out here in LA with your dad. What's your relationship with your dad like? My dad, my relationship with my dad is great. He's literally the smartest man I know, the best person I know. When he was six years old, he was a paper boy for the New York Post, and he would just throw the papers, you know, like as a paper boy would growing up in the city. Then he just worked his butt off and became eventually editor in chief at the New York Post. And now, eight years later, he's about to move back to New York in about a week. That's he's awesome. going back to work at the New York Post. No way. It's just the most like wholesome, full circle turnaround that really makes me happy. I'm so happy you came, honestly. I'm really Thank happy you. I met me too. you. This is so cool. This I'm, is fun. I'm happy you're a cool person. You too, I was dude. worried. You were Come worried. On. Did you ever doubt for a second I was a cool person? Come on. Where can people find your stuff, like your Instagram and stuff like that? My Instagram. Your Instagram is and at Emma Kenny, spelled there, and my Twitter is Emma Rose Kenny. And you guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Famous Food Truck. Every week we have a new food, and every week we have a new celebrity, and this has been really awesome. So fun, dude. Thank you for having me. Subscribe to Genius Kitchen and watch more Famous Food Truck.